We're going to a cemetery for this test. Man, that didn't do anything for the windshield. You guys have the same problem with your Ford truck when you hit the windshield washer fluid, it goes all over the driver's side window. Makes a mess. Design flaw. Well, in last week's video, I kind of made a complaint about the UAV forecast app being pretty much a paid site now. And I got a bunch of comments with uh, alternative applications for the wind and things like that. A couple of people pointed out air data, which is pretty awesome. I got a comment from Saved by Grace and a comment by uh, Larry, I'm sorry, Gary Lenane, uh, both recommending the air data app telling you what I'm glad that they did because that app is stand up right now it's really doing well apparently it's got an option in there where you can link your data with your flight I'll have to play with that one of these days and figure that out too but that sounds like a pretty neat idea I think he wants to pass me I'm going five over the speed limit I gotta try to find this cemetery every time I try to find this cemetery I drive past it I wish he would pass me so I could not pass it that house back there reminds me of the place I grew up the only difference is, is it's not in West Virginia and it looks different Wow. <laughs> Figure that one out. <gasps> We're almost there. Was that it? Oh crap, I passed it. Yep. It looked like the gate was closed. Pellicer Creek Cemetery. Established in 1874. It's got a gate that's closed. I wonder if I can park up here though and fly. Let's take a look and make sure I won't be disturbing anybody. It doesn't look like it's locked. It just looks like it's closed. Oh, I haven't even told you guys what we're doing. <laughs> let me park here and I'll tell you what we're doing. All right, so let me pull up air data. And right here you can see that it shows an hour by hour whether it's good to fly or not. But what's really cool is, is you pull up the, uh, the thing here and it's got pretty much the exact information that the uh, UAV forecast had. But it's easier to read because if you go to the wind Instead of having to slide that little toggle over to the right to increase the height and, and hit enter and all that stuff and wait for it to load, it shows you the, the wind uh, conditions at every 100, 100 foot increment at just one touch and the gusts as well. So that's pretty neat. But another thing that's neat is you actually have, I think, seven days of forecast that you can look at. Maybe five. <laughs> I think it's five. But either way, it's definitely more than three hours. So. Air data, good deal. Well, last week's update video that we did, I did a quick shot. And during the quick shot, it was a rocket, a legitimate rocket this time. But during the quick shot, I set the height for 160 feet. And when Jack started raising up, or I'm sorry, when Rose started raising up, she went past that 160 feet and she continued to go until like 207 feet. Well, at that point, I realized that it wasn't set for 160 feet above the ground. It was set for 160 feet above where she started from. Well, that was just something that I said in passing during the video. I never really even thought about it much. But Pickleface Production sent me a comment that said, I had no idea that the rocket height was the height from the start point. That's good to know. Well, after reading this comment, I started thinking, there's got to be a video idea here. And now there's a truck coming up behind me. Am I in trouble? He's really coming up close to me. What's going on back there? Oh, she's leaving. All right, cool. So I think we're going to have the place to ourselves again. You know how on the DJI Fly app you can set your height limit to whatever you want it to be? I've usually got it set to 390, I think 394 feet or something like that. That way it doesn't go to the 400 foot mark above ground. If you set the height limit to say 200 feet, you don't want to go above 200 feet, but you want to do a rocket and you have the rocket go 160 feet, but you start out at 50 feet, the ceiling to that rocket is going to be 210 feet, so that's going to be above your allowable line on the DJI Fly app. If you get two for three, that's six for six. It's a dollar a piece. If you get one for two, that's an extra dollar. It's twice as much. Wait a minute, two what? for three, that's one and a half as much. It's one and for three for five is start over. One for a half. So my question was, is will the DJI Fly app stop the drone at that 200 foot mark and end the quick shot? or will it continue to the end and go above that ceiling that you set? So that's what we're gonna to test today. I wanna to get Jack up and going. I wanna check all of his credentials or specifics or particulars. <laughs> I don't even know what word I'm trying to use. We're gonna get him up in the air. We're gonna try this. Uh, I think it's gonna be a pretty cool test because I have absolutely no idea what's gonna happen. Why is the gimbal so crooked? I need to do a 
there we go. He was doing his little startup thing and I kind of interrupted it. Let me go to the radar because I know people don't like the map. <laughs> Actually, I'm going to go back to the map. I like the map. There's the drone. I'm not facing the drone. Okay. I'm going to get Jack on the back of the truck here. Get him some satellites. Okay, so what I... Oh. Let me screen record this. All right, we got a good battery here. We got no satellites yet. Not sure why we don't have any satellites at all. But we don't have any satellites. Oh, we got four. Okay. So this is what I was talking about. You go to the safety tab and you go max altitude. See, I got it set at 393 feet and change. Well, if I push that down to say 150 feet, let's let's put it to 150 feet. And we got our uh, home points been updated, so that must mean we have our satellites. So we got 12 satellites, a moderate GPS signal. Let me check this transmission tab and make sure that we're good. It's on dual band and it looks stable. All right, good deal. I think we're good here. Okay, so we've got 14 satellites. We've got our satellites now, so we can go ahead and take off. I'm gonna just get them up in the air here. We'll, we'll get them to, uh, we'll get them to hover. The truck's parked at, a, at an angle, so don't worry about that. <laughs> Let me just get Jack over a little bit here so I'm not gonna hit a tree or something because there's there is some, some cover here. It looks like he's responding to my to my control as well. So let's go over here to the cemetery and we'll find a point of interest. And we're gonna do a rocket and see if he goes above that um that 150 foot mark. I think I actually see something that I wanna I wanna focus on. It looks like a I don't know what that is, but I can't really tell what that is. But let's do this. Let's focus on that, whatever it is. And we'll go over here to Quick Shots. We'll, ch we'll select Rocket. And I want to go up, I want to put it up 170 feet because I know that that's going to be above that 150 foot mark. And now, let's just hit Start. Oh, I got to draw a box. Let's draw the box and we'll hit Start and see what he does. I hope that it stops him. But I'm not sure what it, what's going to happen here. This this could be something that could ultimately get you in trouble if you're not paying attention. So we're 110 feet up in the air. We're approaching the 150 mark. We're only halfway done. All right, so it stopped it. It actually just it totally stopped the the um, the quick shot in its tracks. So it's not continuous. It says max altitude reached of 151 feet. That's good to know because now the DJI flap is not getting you in trouble. That's that's a really good safety feature. Let's see if the droney will do the same thing. So let's do a droney. We'll go 170 feet. And we're already at 123 feet. So let me start this one and see what he does. We've only got 50 or 25 feet to go until it's going to probably shut it down. But it's it's doing doing good so far. You know, most of that 150 mark. Oh, it stopped him short. It stopped him at 143 feet instead of 150 feet. So it actually won't even it won't even let you get to 150 feet. It won't even let you get to that max altitude. Well, that's that's cool. That's good to know. All right, guys. Well, I know that was a question that I had. I don't know if any of you guys ever thought about that, um, but it's a question that I had. I wanted to get answered. Let's get Jack back. We'll land him. We'll have a little bit of a chat. I'm gonna hand catch him. All right, Jack. <laughs> I can do this. <laughs> yes, that worked. <laughs> oh, now I just have to not drop him. I know this was a very simple, quick test, guys, but it's something that I was wondering about, and now we've got our answer. I wasn't really surprised because I knew that DJI probably had some sort of a safety feature regarding that. Yet again, DJI has thought of everything. <laughs> really do appreciate y'all watching the videos every week. Hope you enjoyed it. Have a great week and God bless. <laughs> I got confused.